everyone, welcome to the Mine Record server. My name is Weird and Bearded. In today's episode, we've recently been building a lot of farms. That's going to be ending next week. We're going to take a break next week. We're going to actually start working on the base. But for today, there are two more farms to build. Farms that I should have built ages ago. Farms that are important. First of all, my food situation. I'm currently buying golden carrots from a villager on the small villager island. And with one emerald being what I have to pay per golden carrot, and me currently having no villager set up, that's not really sustainable. So we're going to start off with a food farm. I've got one in mind. I built it up this morning to test it. I'm just going to collect some resources. I have made my way over to the nether. We are going to be building a hoglin farm. Really easy way to get food. We probably could have done this on the first day of the server. There's a lot of hoppers involved, we'd have needed about 20 stacks of iron, but I reckon we could have done it. So this platform down here is where we're going to be collecting all of our meat. Up there we've got a little AFK spot for me, a five wide platform just for ease of landing. With a single glass in the middle, that is at height limit. We are several blocks down, I don't know exactly how many. Well, I'm currently at Y221, if we go and land on that. It should say we're at 255, 256. It says we're at 256. So you can get the distances from those two numbers. So the first thing I'm going to do is build up the collection points. So if I bring up my schematic, you can see lots of chests, lots of hoppers. We're in single layer mode. It is an easier way of doing things. So we're doing this up five levels. And then I'm going to join all the hoppers together. And then I'll bring you back in to work on the next bit. And you can see the hopper layout over there. I've got the same on this side because this farm splits off into two different sides. On each of those hoppers, we are going to be putting on some slabs. I've gone for crimson slabs just because it works well. I've got the red glass. I, I like this color scheme for the nether. And we're in a crimson forest because you need to be there for the hoglin to spawn. Around that, we're going to be having some glass going up too tall because we're going to be putting in some lava on top of the slabs. And that's why we have the slabs in the first place. So when we get baby hoglins, they are still going to get caught by the lava. After that is a simple case of building the spawning platforms, which are mostly going to be crimson nylium, because again, I like the look of it, with a nice strip of warped nylium down the middle with warped fungus on each one. That's going to scare the Hoglins, forcing them to fall into our little lava trap. The trap draws along the edge and then lighting it up because uh, piglins, number five piglins, they need a light level of 11 or lower. The Hoglins can spawn in whatever the light level is. And that's our farm done. What also helps is to build this in the right biome. I meant to do this in a crimson forest. I forgot what I was doing. I went to a warped forest. But I'm going to take this all down and start again. Yeah, I'd say this is better. You can see top off in the distance cutting down trees. Hello. We also have an azalea tree over there. We have some cursed vines over there. And here we have a witch hut because we're going to be building a redstone farm. Don't you dare touch the cursed vines. I, ow. We also uh, have a portal hanging in the air. This was not done just to have a portal hanging in the air, but there was a tree underneath it. But yeah, we're sure going to be building a redstone wasn't. farm. Sure it wasn't. We're going to start off taking down the witch hut, putting in some sweepers. The idea is to send all the witches up high. Um, but that bit we're very much going to be improvising. So we're going to build the sweepers and then we'll be back for a little bit of an update. There may well be a time lapse as well. There's definitely going to be a yes. time lapse. You were expecting some music, weren't you? Well, no, not for this one. This is a very short time lapse, so it's not really worth music. So you're just going to have me talking over the top. I mean, when you look at things, we've already built three of the platforms. There's really not that much to do. It's a pretty small farm on this side of things. And look, we're already done. Well, that went much faster than I expected. I don't know about you. I've got to say, having built this before. I mean, it's, it's a simple build. Yeah, it's a simple build and faster with two people. So the plan now, Definitely. we've just discussed this. As I said, we're improvising from this moment forward. We're going to have them pushed uh, into a wall, so there's going to be a one wide gap that the witches can fall down. 
they're going to need to get rid of a little bit of water. Uh, they're going to land in some water, which is going to funnel them towards a bubble column. And that's going to take them up, and we're going to pick them out where a suitable AFK spot is. I don't know if we're going to time lapse this, because we really don't know what we're doing at this stage. So it may well just be a straight cut. Straight cut, go! So I'm currently up at the AFK spot. Uh, we're not going to have the floor made of slime. It's simply the blocks I currently have on me. But this little hole here is going to be the AFK point. We now have a lever way up here. This has not yet been tested. This should turn the farm on. Uh, meanwhile, right at the bottom, Hop is uh, getting walls in, getting ready for the uh, water areas that the witches are going to drop down into. I'm going to go help with that, but let's test this first. Let's go. Hey, it works. Ah. Ah. I see an issue with the walls. <laughs> I also see an issue with the walls. <laughs> so we're going to get that issue fixed. And then <laughs> we're going to continue. While we have the AFK <laughs> platform... From, from down here, it looked like you made a one-wide or three-wide portal frame. I was like, wait, that's illegal. No, but no, I'm, I'm doing this properly. I just... I didn't have all the obsidian to fill in those corner blocks. But nobody's going to see it from up here, so it doesn't matter. I mean, I've seen the Nobody portals you know. build. Uh, so yeah, we've got we've moved the portal up to the top. That is now connecting to the roof. Uh, top is, is almost up here with the first of the water columns. Hello. Probably be breaking through any moment now. Column. Well, at least the first of the glass columns. I'd break a block for you, but I, it's very difficult to tell from the angle where you're going to be coming through. <laughs> Sure. Blame uh, the angle. Here yeah, we also have a block of smooth red sandstone in the middle, just so we know where to stand to AFK. So then the idea is the witches are going to come up to the top. They're having to go up quite a bit further because they're going to drop down in front of us, and then we're going to have another lever that you can pull, so you can put a block in their way, so they don't quite die to do it manually and get some XP from this, as well as more drops. Or you can pull that block away, and then they'll fall to their death. And all will be good. So, I think the next step is just to make sure we've got these finished off. The witch hit me! <laughs> I can't see the witch, but it hit me! Okay, I'm starting to get... I'm starting to make this safe. Are you fighting them from the inside? I oh, am. Yeah. You're a madman. They're all dead. Oh, fair enough. Man. Oh, did you block them in? That's no fun. So this is us testing the machine. As you can see, it works. Kind of. We, we're still getting zombies. We're not entirely sure where. But for now, we're just going to assume... I think we just pretend we're not getting zombies. Yeah, that's probably what I, I'd go with. So now we're going to build this nice and high, go over the portal and drop them down probably here, I'd say. That you come out of the portal and you're facing the killing chamber rather than having to awkwardly walk around it. Oh, hello! I just tried to shoot through the portal. Obviously the arrow goes through. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, let's calculate how much we need to drop them. Get that done. Almost there. Yay, math! I, I don't have a lever at the moment. I'm saying we could add a lever. Make a lever. Do you have any cobblestone? I don't know. Well, there's stone. Okay, there's stone. Let me get out my toolbox so I can get my silk, my, my fortune pick. Have you turned it on? Yeah. Okay. Better hurry. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. No, no, no. Leave it, leave it, leave it. 
Oh, hang on. We're testing automatic mode first. Don't need the Libby app. We did. It died. Oh, perfect. Another one is coming. <laughs> if this dies, I'm going to be upset. Perfect. Uh -huh. Okay, so as you can see, we have manual mode, we have automatic mode. This is now working. I believe Top has to head off now. Uh, but I'm going to get a sorting system into place. And then that is this farm done. That is fun to watch. We'll it probably lock this one up a little bit more. Like that. Yeah, right. I think that's everything sorted. I think we are ready to go. As you can see, there's a lot of empty item frames. I'm going to wait for the items to start coming through and fill it from the items from the farm. But let's give this thing a try. So it takes a little while for the first witches to come up, but we can go into free cam and see what's going on. Maybe keep an eye on this as well, just in case any witches go past. So we can see witches are starting to head in. The first one should be heading up soon. Okay, first one's on its way. I just want to make sure the items are all going in properly. We've got a bit of a weird bit there because we're doing some non-stackable items as well because we want to get the potions. And then everything else and any excess will be going into that cactus. So... Dead Witch items should be coming out here. And they slowly float up. We didn't see the need for uh, a bubble column there. And then into the system they go. So here we are, a working witch farm. I'm going to AFK here for the next hour or so. Just see what sort of breaks we're getting. Well, we've managed to gather a bit of everything. Not much. But witch farms are never overly fast. Ideally, we would have had a double witch hut. But we've got what we've got. So, we gathered this as well as, obviously, everything going in there. So, a couple of stacks an hour. I'm going to be doing some overnight AFK sessions, so that's going to be fine. The one thing we didn't collect, you may notice there are some empty item frames here. Glass bottles. And there is a very good reason for that. Up there, I accidentally had a dispenser instead of a dropper. So they were all being turned into water bottles and being destroyed by the cactus. So that went well. But apart from that, I'm happy with the farm. I'm happy with the food farm. And I think it's time for me to start getting ready for the next episode. So I'm going to say thank you all for watching. If you liked, please leave a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. My name is Weird and Bearded. And I will see you all next time. I was just doing some editing and it's been quite a short video so we're going to have a little bit more at the end because there are a couple of odd jobs I can do around the server just to fill out the time. So first of all I know I've got some mail from watching Priest of the North's recent video where he was celebrating Day of the Dead and I've got some bread and a piece of paper web. Feliz Dia de Muerto, thanks for the chicken. You are most welcome. Also, this isn't an important thing. Nobody's been asking for it, but it's been really annoying me. If we fly up here, we've got a little bit of floating land. I want to get rid of it. It looks weird. Oh, perfect. Landed on it first time, so we'll quickly get rid of that. Uh, my my shovel's in, my, in the box of tools. I can't be bothered to get it out. It's a very small thing to dig up. And that's that got rid of. I also want to visit the ofrenda that Beast put over in the gaming area. So let's go have a look at that. Here we are. The first thing I see is a nice big road. I know we're planning on introducing a road system. Uh, I think the plan is to split this into quadrants. So I'll have shopping with buildings, shopping with organic builds, games with organic builds, games with buildings. So the road has begun and it looks like some builds are beginning over here. 
the off render I can see down there. I also may as well check my shop. This is nice. I like this. I hope this stays. So uh, often with builds like these, they're just temporary things. I really want this to stay. I like it. Um, because I do actually have a shop here. I built it on stream. It was a 10 minute job because I got some charged creeper heads. Oh, there's something else being built here. What's this going to be? Future wool shop won't be totally square. It doesn't look like it is totally uh, It might be totally square. Let's follow the diagonal. If you can follow the diagonal, and it takes you to the other corner. It is totally square. Yeah, this is totally square. But yes. Oh! I, I sold one, and they didn't put the payment in the please pay here barrel. But that is a nice block of diamond. I do intend to build a proper shop here, which will probably end up over there. And it's gonna be a big one. Let's be honest, it's me. This is what you're expecting. Um, I don't want to have a shop that sells just one thing or just one type of thing. We're gonna go full on department store. But that is for the future. I wanna do work on my base first, which we're gonna be doing next week. In fact, we're going to be starting on the storage system, or at least collecting the resources, because I'll be honest, I'm in the middle of designing it, and it's big. Also, I've been told there's going to be a maze somewhere around here, and that the space has already been dug out. But I don't see where anything's been dug. So I'm really curious where this is actually is but that is for me to find in the future the maze is coming in a couple of weeks i believe and i think it's going to be changing every two weeks so of course i'm going to be doing the maze a lot because there are some good prizes for it i'm going to look around and see if it's been dug out further afield but yes that is now all that we have time for still a bit of a shorter episode but not as short as it could have been Oh, this isn't where it's been dug out, but this is nice. We need to do stuff with this. This is gorgeous. Yeah, sorry. That is what I have time for. I'm wet and bearded. I'll see you all again. See you in the future. See you next time. Found it. <laughs>